Hey guys, it's the donkey from Bongo and me. And today while we walk, I'm going to be talking about the nature of reality. More, what is the nature of reality for me, from my point of view, from my perspective. <clears throat> Most of the time, I think I know, I think I, I got it and then it just escapes. So I think I understand and then there's just another level, there's just another layer to the whole puzzle. So while we walk, I don't want to scare those people, so I'm just gonna walk slow. I will start, and there's another dog. There are two contrasting views I hold simultaneously. One of them is of simplicity and the other one is of complexity so saying that the nature of reality is very very complex that the world and the universe forms infinite different patterns and it just has this tendency to move towards complexity always evolving more and more more <laughs> difficult patterns and organisms and these organisms then they evolve into bigger organisms that can do more things, more difficult things, and and then the, we have the machines, and the machines become we make machines, and they become more complicated, and then we start to explore what's inside us and what's outside in the universe, inside the machines, inside the molecules, and everything's very complicated. And then there's the simplistic view of, of reality, where things just are; they just exist. They are not complex, and they are not simple either. They they just exist, like a plant, like something that is made of atoms, and molecules, particles, and we are all particles, but that's, th that's it, there's no more complexity to that. And then, <clears throat> after these two opposing views, then there's Bongu, the dog. So, she's a, ma a mammal. A, a Canis familiaris, and we are monkeys, I guess. So why we we have to wonder about the nature of reality if we are just monkeys? <clears throat> we should be eating fruits and, and playing, not wondering this kind of stuff. And so that's a simplistic view. And then it goes again with the <clears throat> complicated view, the view that says that maybe we are products of an alien civilization or maybe we are an experiment maybe consciousness is nothing but an illusion a hallucination a dream we are a brain in a vat we are in a different altered state in which we create this that it seems that we call reality and that makes it very 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 complicated and then we go well i go back to the simplistic view, maybe a more zen view, in which <clears throat> the moment that we we start to question the nature of reality, and then that means we don't understand it, because if we understood it, we wouldn't be questioning it in the first place. Things just are. And then it goes again with the complexity and I think maybe there are parallel dimensions and there are beings or there are entities in these other worlds, these other universes or dimensions and they, they talk to us in some ways and they try to reach us and they try us to make some bridge, some form of communication with us to try to ex explain what, the, what our purpose is, what the nature of reality is and then <clears throat> I understand that maybe this complexity I talked in the, in the first part, that complexity also in our brains is what leads us to, to question the, the nature of reality, that maybe we are not just monkeys that shouldn't be questioned in ourselves, so then there's some psychological or philosophical <clears throat> view, and biological view that evolution was the one that leads us to question the, the meaning of reality 
the nature of our existence and then there's also the simplistic view which comes as a contrast always first difficult and then easy and then difficult and then easy and then there's peace and a simplistic view in the simplistic simplistic view I learn to see things as they really are again without judging them without trying to qualify them trying to think as this is bad this is good without seeing reading too much into it while at the same time not sitting too close to the fire not getting electrocuted not getting murdered so on the one hand the nature of my reality is to try to not qualify thing, things as opposites not seeing things as this is an experience this is not an experience <laughs> but just uh, observing things and then you still have to stay alive so you still have to argue with strangers on the internet who try to scam you of your money because if you don't argue with the strangers from the internet you don't get to pay your rent and it's like this in and out of this <laughs> real view of analyzing the universe and yourself and then having to come back to the real world with all these <laughs> variables and this stimuli that you have to not uh, react to and not let them affect you and then I go swimming in the ocean and then the simplistic view comes once again so I'm just floating there swimming and I can really see that there's it's just this there is nothing else just me swimming the water the the sun the wind I can see that there are probably in that moment I can see there are no other universe or dimensions or maybe I just don't have the power to go there right now and that's why it's not possible to it's, it's not important to worry about that Pongu Let's go. Come. She wants to eat the poo poo from the from the donkey. Donkey's dung. No. Okay, so I'm in the beach. I'm swimming, and then I see the sim simple view of the world again, and then. Maybe I go out and I realize that I am suddenly enlightened and I feel like I understand everything and I understand myself and I am one with nature, I'm one with myself, I'm one with the universe, I can feel the, the ancient civilizations, the aliens talking to me, I can see the other realities and the other parallel dimensions and then... <coughs> I realize it's, uh, it's just too far, I went too far, I start telling myself I went too far and during the day, yes, I can go too far, I can space out, but at night it's just very hard to breathe and the, the more you question the nature of reality the more difficult it is to, to come back and up to the point that you can get anxiety attacks sometimes because it's just too much for our brains to handle and then I sit, take a deep breath, do some meditation and come back to the simple way of things. And the next day the same, balancing from one point to the other and then realizing everything's a game. And I was actually just playing the game of somebody who has some serious thoughts and experiences. And deep conversations with myself or with the phone in this case <clears throat> and then I go back to the simplistic view and I realize that the nature of existence just depends on each one of us so all the ones I mentioned before are valid possibilities and then I realize our brain can actually convince us that this is the right thing, way to think and 
even when some other new information comes later we can easily dismiss it because we already found our answer and that's it and then it's just a nature of reality is just a back and forth of ups and downs you think you understand then something else happens or some new information comes and then you realize you didn't really understand and there will always be some new ideas or some new way of exploring <clears throat> what is this